everybody, Josh RV Nerd with Bicious RV down here in Indiana today, getting you some early sneak peek footage of some really cool and exciting things the Salem and Wildwood group are doing. Last year they came out with this big giant destination trailer floor plane called the 42 View, and it had more windows on the campsite of it than any, well, frankly more windows period than any RV in history. And they decided, you know what, they, they're, they're, they're seeing all the comments, they make all these floor plans that very often have very little in the way of campsite windows and they are releasing an entirely new series dedicated almost literally around the concept of maximizing campsite window footage. So today's not going to be one of my normal full deep dive in-depth looks. What I'm going to do today is kind of walk you through a little bit of a sneak preview of what the entire family is coming up with uh, and, and giving you looks at all three of the new what they're calling view series uh, travel trailers right here. And uh, what I'd really like from you is to hear kind of like which ones you'd like me to zero a win on and I'll do my best to sweep back through and, and get all the footage I can with the time that I have allotted. Now as we go I'd love to hear from you and keep in mind especially when it comes to the View Series travel trailers uh, these are literally first run prototypes that we're looking at today so it is very likely if you watch this video uh, a while after this footage comes out that some stuff will be a little bit different but overall I think what they're doing here is something that people have been wanting and I've never seen before. And I will tell you, you hear all these manufacturers come out with something new and they always use the same phrase, it's a game changer. And you're like, whatever. Like my eyes rolled in my head like a slot machine when I heard that. And then I came down here and I saw the stuff that they're doing that I'm going to show you today. And I, I, <laughs> I think they may have actually done it. So let's start walking through these things. I'm gonna give you some fast flyby footage. Let me know what you think and which ones you'd like me to dive a little bit deeper on. And in typical nerdy fashion, I think I'm going to call this video the pre-view. <laughs> and we're gonna see six models today, but it really all kind of begins here with the 42 view. Now this actually came out last year. It's the only thing we're gonna see today that's not brand new, but it has like eight industry firsts. And the big focus on campsite windows that was really the whole core and crux of this model right here it has something like over 200 square foot of campsite window coverage now for the 24 season they've got some other great things in store they've done things like improved where the uh landing gear location is located where the sewer hookups are located to give you like better ground clearance because this is something you're probably just gonna haul into a park and leave but you want to make sure you can get it there without dragging the sewer hose and stuff like that so they've made some improvements on that end touched up a lot of window treatments, improved the countertops uh, overall, a bunch of little tweaks and details on this one. But if you're unfamiliar with it, this is unlike anything I've ever seen before and instantly became my personal favorite like destination uh, park model style camper. You've got that big uh, wraparound sofa right there, which actually does have like sleeper uh, function. It has seating below it. But this, one of the industry firsts on this, it was the first destination trailer with a double drop frame. So you have an elevated rear loft and an elevated front loft. The rear loft is above this gigantic rear bathroom and they have really cleaned up and improved, I feel, the way that this bathroom looks and feels. You've got plenty of headroom uh, above you in that shower. You also have dedicated linen space and either a giant bonus closet or stackable washer dryer prep back there. And just to make sure you're not hotboxing yourself, they did build a fan actually right into the sidewall on this one so that you know you are exhausting all the Fume Friday fun times on here. But they've kind of given it a, a little bit of a redesign like not everybody needs the traditional, you know, chairs and dinette. Like, they said, what if we just really went crazy extending the island and the kitchen space, but that also could double as your dining? Now, all of those big windows are on a power shade system. You can individually select which window shades you like to put up or down, or you can do them all at one time with the push of one button, which is really cool. You just select the shade you want, and there you go. Now, the front loft is almost like a loft and a half with that little wraparound stairway to heaven right there. And uh, I, I think that if you have bigger people, this is probably where you're going to want to sleep them like adult guests. But you do still, of course, have a primary uh, bedroom. But new for 24, basically across the entire lineup, you're going to see what they call the Versatilt bed system. System. So it's just on a power actuator to lift the head of the bed up a little bit, which is awesome for nighttime viewing. But it, it also does a fantastic job of creating more floor space so you can actually get dressed in your bedroom without having to take your clothes in the living room and pull all the shades down. 
Now, we're not to the actual full view series yet. We're going to get there. But two new models that they have. I am really excited about this one, the 22 Eras. I think they're trying to start a new era of camping or something. Anyway, I've seen this floor plan in a couple smaller fifth wheels, and I really like it because, once again, they're finding alternatives to the traditional dinette. And I personally am a big fan. Whenever you have big campsite windows with, like, a little dining bar and some stools or chairs, I love that. That is something that really, really excites me. Those radius accent walls, they're they are making it rain on those things all over the place in their lineup. And behind that uh, entertainment center, there's a, a hideaway little uh, pantry-tainment kind of situation going on. But here's what's interesting. You see how that door completely folds open over the bathroom? What's really cool about that is now the electric space heater can provide heating directly into your bedroom in the evenings or if like you i don't know about you like i hate getting out of a warm shower and there's really cold air waiting for me i kind of like to have a a weirdly warm bathroom that i just vent the heat out of later that would work for me and these are a little bit taller inside so people like me can actually uh stand in there and again even though it's not the full view series they have standardized the biggest flipping cross breeze windows that they could in all of their bedrooms along with that versatile bed it makes a normal boring bedroom suddenly very cool like especially in a smaller rv like this sometimes you're just like i don't know if i want to sit in so like you just want to stretch out i don't know if you want to read a book or play on your phone or something it gives you like your own private little den space and they all have those blackout roller shades to really kind of privatize it now when i do some deep dive videos i'll i'll go through and get you full specs and details on all these right now this is really early access including this new model still not the view series but the 29 bdb this is one of their it might be their very first bath and a half model you see the double over double bunks in the back with a half bath back there but what's really fantastic is they still included their big versa lounge system if you're not familiar with that it can convert from that big giant l lounge to a traditional sofa and dinette but it, it can it can be uh, a giant sleeper it can be storage it can do all kinds of things but what's cool about this the half bath can enclose and privatize and has its own dedicated sink to wash your bathroom hands in the half bath. Then you have the actual bunk area has a sliding privacy door. So it's an open double over double bunkhouse that has the ability to be two separate private bedroom bath and a half things. Um, they don't offer anything like this yet, but I, I'm, a, I'm actively encouraging them to find a way to make the bunks go away to convert that into some sort of like office or cargo craft space in the back with that half bath back there. I think that would be absolutely awesome, but that's my two cents. What do you folks think about that idea? Now behind the uh, entertainment area, once again, they have that kind of swing open pantry tainment kind of situation which just provides maximized storage as a result that's that's something I, i've never heard somebody trade in a camper because it has too much storage and too much counter space and anytime a manufacturer tries to challenge that i think it works now trying to be fair all these windows are awesome but keep in mind that is going to be a little bit harder to keep the rv hotter or colder depending on the seasonal climate that you're camping in um and a lot of these models are going to have these big extra closets right here but keep an eye on those bonus closets when we actually get up to the view series which is coming up right now you're going to actually find stackable washer dryer prep in those now the view series what's exciting about this it was built from the ground up with the idea of campsite window coverage they didn't take an existing model and just try to shove a window in it somewhere they said we're going to start with the sidewall we're going to plaster windows into it and we're going to build an rv around that and what they came up with is some of the coolest, most original stuff I've seen in forever. Like that destination trailer, you've got that giant dining bar. And again, they kind of gave it a little bit more of a residential sort of furniture and layout here with that sectional style versus sofa lounge variant where you've got the big chaise section. There's storage all the way below it. It folds down into a mega bed. But the campsite window coverage in this thing, it has 95 and a half square feet of window coverage. That has never been done in a conventional travel trailer before. Again, with the blackout window shades all the way around this thing. I I love this. It personally, it speaks to me very, very much because I'm definitely a person like I always wanted my, my family to sit around the dining table every night and have dinner. And most of the time we do. But you know what? Being a modern American family, we spend a lot of time around the television as well. 
and having a living room that's kind of focused and built around that works for me. Now the view series you're going to see is very flexible, fitting in with that Versa family of features. This one is one of the, the, the only ones of the view family that is dedicated for couples, however. But look how they extended the kitchen. The symmetrical stovetop placement, the massive countertop space, the easy power outlet reach. It is just phenomenal. And this is prototype number one. This was the very first view prototype they ever came up with. It is only getting better from here. You're going to see in the next two, they've already made some enhancements and improvements moving forward. Like right there, stackable washer dryer prep. Now they're working on this. This will probably have some kind of closet shelving and hanging rod storage in it so that it can be more than just washer dryer prep because not everybody needs the washer dryer situation. But that big VersaTilt bed, you still have the CPAP side stands. When you lay that power bed down, you can get to the storage under it. And there's side pockets where if you're like a claustrophobic sleeper, you won't feel like you're stuffed into a little cage. Now the bigger views are available, 50 amp service and second air conditioner, which is pretty awesome. And things like the platinum fiberglass package from the rest of the Salem Wildwood lineup that will be forced on these as will their 200 watt solar package with 30 amp controller. Now this one really excites me. This is the smallest of the view series. The 24 view comes in 29 feet 11 inches. It's 640 pounds on the hitch. This should be half ton towable assuming you've got like properly equipped late model tow package half tons. The underbelly is enclosed with their sectionalized uh, belly panel system. You've got that accent bathroom uh, arch radius wall right there. But when you step in this thing, the floor plan, the layout is unlike anything I've ever seen. You get to pick your own Jumbotron. You can go basic TV. You can go smart TV if you're smarter than a fifth grader like Jeff Foxworthy and just be on boardwalk and park place. But with the biggest windows I've ever seen in an under 30 foot camper. That Tootsie Toaster will burn your bunions off right there or you can use it for visual only elements. And I set my laptop up right there just to give you kind of a visual reference point. If you, uh, uh, again, be more of a couples oriented model, that is probably going to be more of your dining space. Unless you're the type of folks, like again, like me, that tend to eat off the sofa at home, you probably make that work. But having those uh, stools around and a chunk of that kitchen countertop actually folds down. This thing has 18 linear feet of kitchen countertop space, which is more than a lot of people have in their house, which is more than a lot of quote unquote luxury fifth wheels. So prep space, getting things like that in a small RV, that is such a rare find. And that obviously folds into a sleeper, there's storage below it. But the really cool thing on this one, you don't realize what we're looking at right here is a slide out. This RV has a hidden room built into the slide and it's more than just a pantry tainment. It is a private bunk room that is also a pantry that they are also going to tweak and work on to make that a private office space. And one of the things that's really crazy, if you see that air conditioning vent right there at the top of that thing, they build a system so that you still centrally duct air conditioning into a slide out. I've never seen that before. Before this, I didn't even know it was possible. I'm not sure anyone else has ever even done it or tried it. And that to me was the game changer kind of thing. Now, those bunks are a little small. They do wrap around the corner. So if you put your feet in there, even tall people would be able to use this. And having that little hidden private uh, space like that, I've never seen something like that. And I think it's so, so cool that here in an under 30 foot, what people often refer to as just basic entry camper, like it's it feels anything but to me. This is the only member of the View series I've seen that actually doesn't have the washer dryer prep, but the big windows, the versatile bed, all the storage below it, household and USB outlets all over the place. You've got it in spades, and I love that window coverage. And when you, you don't even realize it has a big slide until you step outside like that. And those two are fun. But this is the big daddy of the family, the 29 view, and it might be, I don't know if I like the 24 or the 29 better personally. It has 104 and a half square feet of, of window coverage on this thing. Uh, uh, what do you think about the little eye shadowing around a couple of those windows? It's just a decal graphic, but I think it looks kind of cool. But the view series has no slides on the campsite. Have you noticed that? That means that you maximize your entire patio space on this thing. Uh, so, you know, all the room for your chairs and picnic tables and your windows get to overlook your campsite 
sight instead of only looking at like the sweaty shirtless neighbor not that you know the person that you don't want to see or if you're in the middle of nowhere if you have a lake sight if you have a mountain view i cannot imagine a more amazing setup than something like this now this is just like a stretched version of the 24 is what it is it's the 24 on steroids so you've got a very very similar rear kitchen to what we saw before the huge uh 18 uh linear feet of kitchen counter space even more windows again uh that right hand countertop section you might see the mechanism right there can drop down to create like a, a little desk space or an open space like if you you know you need dog kennel room or anything like that um, but they took the 24 and they stretched the middle of it to basically make it equivalent to a super slide instead of just a small slide. And it took me a minute. I knew there was something hiding behind this wall. I had to go through, I opened all of that storage and all that cabinetry space and I couldn't quite find it until I got all the way in the back here. It is so cleanly masked and hidden because you don't see a traditional slide floor that it has once again a hidden walk-in room. Now you walk right in and this has another of those dedicated desk spaces right here. Notice how they're using the same carpetless system in the in the slide floors. they are the rest of it. The bottom bunk uh, mattress could get out of the way. The top bunk has the move bunk get out the way system as you're seeing right about meow. So it can be a bunk room. It could be a private office. It could be a hidden craft space. You could have your own little enclosed hidden library. It still has that centrally ducted air system to keep you cool in this hot little room otherwise. And I actually wanted to sit down at that little desk space and I was surprised. It is like the perfect kind of laptop height right here. It could totally work. It's the same depth as the, the kitchen counter in the back where I had my laptop set up before. That thing just works. And in case you're kind of curious, like what is that slide way or whatever, they have power cycled and run that slide in and out 1,200 times and haven't gotten uh, the thing to fail. That is more than most people tend to use in an RV for its entire lifetime. Now again, 50 amp service available, second air conditioner available because this thing is big this one's nearly 35 foot tip to tail that is one of its only downfalls that it is long and strong and down to get the camping on but that thing does stuff i've never seen before uh again including in a conventionally constructed camper the capacity for stackable washer dryer prep that's just something you don't see every day i again I, i've seen so many quote game changers that something like this Totally took me by surprise. I can't wait to see what you think about it. So thanks again for tuning in. Let me know what you think. When, if you'd have told me this is what we were going to see out of like one of the most established and almost most traditional stick and tin builders out there, I told you shut up, I wouldn't believe you. This stuff to me is crazy. And I think it is going to be uh, that, that spark that lights a fire that drives the industry forward, or at least in different directions that it hasn't gone before. I don't dislike any of the, uh, the things that they've done before, but I love that they're looking at it with a, a fresh, fun, different kind of lens. Now, at the time of this recording, I don't have anything like pricing information. Um, I will leave you links in the video description to uh, check pricing and availability on our website. As these models come in stock over time, they will start to populate on our website. But in the meantime, if you need something like that, definitely contact our local teams and we're happy to get your figures. And we don't need your grandmother's blood type to try to, you know, we don't need to fill out a credit app just to get you some figures on something. When you're ready, we're ready. We don't do hidden dealer fees. I just wanted to get out here as soon as I could and get you the stuff because this is fresh, fun, and exciting. and. I want to see more of it myself. I want to see these concepts get applied to all kinds of different areas. So give us a call. When you're ready, we're ready. Until then, thanks for tuning in. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.